Hi there, this is a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, loads of reviewers have pretty much gone over all the features and how good it is, so I just want to give you a quick visual look at, look at it. Uh, so at the side you have got a couple of volume rockers, at the top is a headphone jack, at the side is the screen lock button, power button, and at the bottom is charging, and you also get uh, the home button and a couple of soft keys. So the screen is fantastic. Just open that up. Um, I don't know how well it will come across, but this is one of the best screens I've ever looked at on a mobile phone. It's very smooth. I mean, this has got a really powerful processor in. It has touch with on, which personally I find a bit boring. I think it looks a bit, a bit dated compared to something like HTC Sense 5, uh, but it does the job. Uh, it comes with a lot of stuff pre-installed, you know things like TripAdvisor and Maps and things like that. You also get a lot of Samsung, um, Samsung stuff. Whether you find it useful or not, I don't know. You've got its own little app store. Um, so the camera on it is uh, is pretty good. You've got various modes: auto, night, sport. So it's it's uh, pretty much like a normal normal camera, and that it helps you out with the best uh, modes. And then you can record or shoot, no problem. Samsung have also done uh, a special little feature that tracks your eyes. Uh, so you see this little eye at the top and when the little symbol comes up it means it's recognized my eye. And then as you get to the bottom, uh, in, in theory it should scroll down. However, I found it to be quite hit and miss. It, it's not really that good. There we go, it's moving now. And then it should stop, there we go. And go down a bit more, yep, there we go. Uh, you can also use your hand gestures as well by passing your hand up and down. Again, these, these are nice features, but they will drain the battery quite quickly if you if you leave them on all the time. And, and the battery on this is okay, but like any smartphone with a massive screen, it, it does drain very quickly. The actual construction itself, for the, for the price, I'm surprised it feels a little plastic. Well, it is plastic on the back. It feels a little cheap on the back, but I guess, I guess you get used to it. It's a very light phone. Um, you'd expect it to feel maybe a little bit heavier for a premium phone. But overall, this is a fantastic package. Uh, there's a reason it's selling so well, and that's because it's a fantastic phone. I don't think you'll be disappointed with it. And if you found this review useful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.